I just finished building the goat boat. This is what I like, and this is what I don't like about this set. I like the design of the goat boat, where it combines a viking design with Asgardian technology. The boat has an elegant shape displaying flamboyant curvature at the prow and stern. Compared to the boat that we see in the Thor Love and Thunder movie, this Lego version is quite comparable. I like the size of the goat boat because it was longer than I thought it would be, measuring in at 32 centimeters in length and 43 centimeters in length if you include the goats. And I like how the boat is very spacious inside, however they could have added more items on the deck of the boat so it doesn't look so vacant. I don't like how studded the floor is inside the boat. It would have been better if they had tiled up the floor of the boat to make it look like hardwood floors. I don't like the brick built goats that we get in this set. It would have been better if the goats were molded instead. However, I do like the printed faces that we get for the goats. The crazy looking face with the exposed tongue is especially my favorite. I like how you can attach the goats at the front of the boat to help pull it across the sky. I don't like all the stickers that we get in this set. It would have been better if all the designs were printed on tiles instead. I like the cabin that we get inside the boat with its nice looking dark red stripes on the walls and I like how they designed the roof of the cabin where it looks like there are two slabs of wood crossing over the top and I like the fact that the roof of the cabin is mostly tiled up they have a combination of tiles and plates across the roof providing a nice textured look when you open up the roof you can see the insides of the cabin where there is enough space for minifigures to stand there are also some nice accessories on shelves and clips which includes a trans opal jewel a trans green bottle a red fire extinguisher and a stickered map of new Asgard I like the front of the ship where it looks like there is a stylized dragon perched up at the front. I like the four viking shields on either side of the boat. The designs and colors of the shields look fantastic. However, I would have liked the designs to be printed on the shields instead of being stickers. I like how we get four trans blue thrusters underneath the hull to demonstrate how the vessel can fly. I like the building experience of this set. There weren't any repetitive builds and it was very fun to construct a viking ship. I like all five minifigures that we get in this set. I like the Thor minifigure with his cool looking mullet haircut. He has a nice looking beard and a cool looking torso and pants. Which reminds me of an outfit from the Eternals. Thor also has an alternate face where he has thunder eyes. Thor also comes with his Stormbreaker axe. But I would have liked this weapon to be molded. I like the Jane Foster Mighty Thor minifigure with her cool looking winged helmet. I like how her hair is molded into her helmet. But I would have liked her to get a separate hair piece to go with her bald head when you remove the helmet. She has great torso printing and nice leg printing as well. The Mighty Thor also comes with an alternate face where she is sneering. I like the King Valkyrie minifigure that we get in this set. She has a cool looking hair piece and a great printed torso and legs. She also comes with an alternate face where she is smiling. I like the Korg minifigure that we get in this set, but the molded rock piece on his head is kind of weird. This head should have been one molded piece with a face on it. I like Korg's torso printing with the leather straps on it, and he has a cool ram's head belt buckle around his waist. I like his leg printing as well. Korg has an enormous fur collar that he wears around his neck. He also comes with an alternate face where he is smiling. I like how we get a gore minifigure, however this minifigure is rather bland. He has a white mummy band bandaged torso and plain white legs. He does have a great zombie looking face though with orange eyes. So what do you like? What do you don't like? Comment below, let me know, and we will see you all in the next video. Bye!